Welcome back, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make a, a scary person look even more hideous. We've got our picture opened up here. We're going to go ahead over here to um, the, the screen, the layer, and click Duplicate. I'm just going to go ahead and rename it something. I'm going to name it Gray because I'm going to go over here to Image, and I'm going to hit the Adjustments, go down to Desaturate, and that will go ahead and turn the, it to a gray scale. And then we're going to go use the uh, Quick Selection tool. I'm going to select the torso on this picture here. And then we're going to go ahead and hit Control Shift I to inverse our selection. You'll notice that our little uh, our crawling ants or whatnot are going around the picture instead. And hit Delete. Now what we just did there is we went ahead and deleted just the gray around the outside of the picture. Go ahead and hit Control D to deselect what you're working there. And go ahead and um, grab your let's see, eraser tool here. And kind of, um, let's open this up a little bigger here. Uh, go around the eyes and erase a little bit of it. And try to, that'll be the actual, where the blood flows, I guess, dead people is usually around the eyes. I don't know, stereotypically or whatever you want to call it. So we'll go do it around the eyes, around the mouth. Um, you'll see once we get further why we're going to do it there. And then we'll go ahead, create a new layer, Control Shift N, name it Eyes. Go ahead and we have the eyes. Let's go ahead and we've got a red color selected already. Go ahead and grab the paint. Let's go ahead and try to enlarge the paintbrush to get it the same size as the eyes. And um, just go over the eyes. You can pick any color, play with different colors. Go ahead and take um, the eraser tool and just get like a, a pupil in there so it just doesn't look um, really shitty. Um, if you need to, you might want to zoom in when you're working on fine-tuning some of this stuff. Uh, it does make it easier instead of fighting it. Um, got the red eyes now in there. Now what we want to do is we want to go over to layers and where it says normal, let's click that mode there and we want to play with it. Sometimes overlay would, sometimes screen works good. It all just depends on what you're working with. I kind of like that screen there. Um, maybe not 100%, maybe more or less 80%. I don't know. Another thing that we can do is we can always leave it in normal mode and then just um, move down your opacity levels and that'll kind of bring it up. Now go ahead and take your um, eraser tool again and just um, we'll zoom in real far. I know this is going to get really scary here. They have nightmares seeing the face so close. Um, just go ahead and take some of this red out of here where it's overlapping. You don't want it to look really bad. It's going to be fake as it is. Um, now we'll go ahead and zoom out. Now so far what we got, see that those red eyes, those they look a little too strong still. Let's go ahead and jack those down a little bit there. Click back gray level. We have um, the opacity level. We don't want him full on gray. We just kind of want him a little dead skin looking. Let's move that down to say around 72 or something like that. Okay, now we've got our victim, I mean um, model here. We'll go ahead and um, let's go ahead and select both these layers here, convert to a smart object, and then we're going to go ahead and rasterize that layer. That allows us to work on it. If you don't rasterize it, the um, the filters won't work for the liquify. Um, let me go ahead and show you that. We're going to go up here to go to filter, then click on this liquify. Now we can zoom in a little bit, play with this. Over here, you have your nuts tool or warp forward tool. You got your reconstruct, twirl, I don't use twirl much, um, the pucker tool and the bloat tool. These are the two things that are going to work great. We're going to need these. Let's do the bloat tool. We're going to go ahead and resize this to, you know, a little bit bigger than the eye. And go ahead and give them one like that. And then we'll use the pucker tool on the other one and kind of give them one like that right there. Now we'll go ahead and use the smudge tool to push some of this stuff up. Kind of make them look like this, and we can also um, enlarge it, try to get a little radius of the chin, and pull that down right there. If you want to go ahead and make it a little bit smaller, you can go ahead and give them some pointy ears. Um, you'll have to play with it. Again, if you want to uh, to undo something, you just hit the Control Z key. That usually works pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and give them a bigger nose, or we should. Nah. Well, let's go ahead and squish the bridge of the nose. And that usually will turn out pretty cool. We'll go ahead and bloat the actual nose itself up. Kind of make it a little bit bigger. Um, there we have it. That's pretty much a, a basic um, figure there. We can always uh, 
go over here to where you'll see the blur tool, a sharp tool, and then below that, what we actually want, it's called the burn tool. Bring the burn tool in, you can go ahead and change the different sizes and kind of add like some bags underneath the the eyes there, and um, get it looking pretty nasty. I mean, go ahead and add some highlights to the the top of the head. Get some things going around there. Like I said this is a quick tutorial. You can play with it once you figure out the basics of it. Um, it's not that hard. It just needs a little bit of work here and there. Gotta go ahead and get some shadow around the neck. Just make it look a little grungier. Now there's a multitude of brushes that you can buy or actually get deviant or art and sites like that. Um, check into those. You can get some cool stuff, some stitches, some scars. Uh, just go ahead and um, you know Google for Photoshop brushes. But um, this pretty much does it here. So I uh, hope you like that video, Jack Wagon. Hope you like your pictures. Thanks for letting me use it. Talk later. Peace.